Thanks for rolling up too, but Marley is certified plyhead. Rolling up one of my uh, morning J's and shit. One of my morning split. We'll go ahead and jump into um today's shindig and see what we got going on, my dope. A party that wants to legalize marijuana has recorded more than 244,519 votes across Australia and could even push Pauline Hanson out of parliament. The One Nation leader has her note. Hold on real quick. Um, we don't really know too much about politics in Australia, but... uh. Apparently, they're trying to um, legalize dank over there. And you know what I'm saying? they uh coming across some opposition. But the dank smokers might be able to squeak out a win, I guess, in this uh, election that, that Australia got coming up. In front of legalized cannabis Australia candidate Bernard Bradley in the race of Queensland's sixth Senate seat, with Ms. Hansen ahead with 054.31 of a quarter compared to Mr. Bradley's 046.43. But Ms. Hansen could still lose her position if votes for the micro party continue to flood into the tally room and on preference flows. As the name suggests, the little known party seeks to legalize the drug in Australia. It has seen a 49% positive swing since last election and 6-7% of the total vote. Ultra-conservative politician Pauline Hansen could lose her seat in the Senate as Queenslanders elect two Greens candidates to the House of Representatives, 52-year-old criminal lawyer Bernard Bradley I, pictured, as the legalized cannabis party candidate who could usurp Pauline Hansen the candidate on the cusp of breaking into the Senate, Mr. Bradley, 52, is a criminal defense lawyer from Noosa who said he was fed up with seeing drug-related charges. It's time to change these outdated laws and have a uniform approach that treats adults like adults and in some instances would be life changing, he said. It's All right, hold on, let's, 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 let's take a break real fast. Um, okay. So I guess in Australia and shit, they're, uh, they're having an election, um, and, uh, uh, trying to, trying to, uh, get, get, get marijuana legalized in australia which which i'm not i'm not i'm not against any country you know what i'm saying trying to legalize marijuana but marijuana it's not it's not it's not the terrible um it's not the thing that's causing terrible turtle harm like they uh like 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 they suggest yeah marijuana they do all that so any any country that's not mean legalizing it i'm on i'm on board and shit um it seems like australia they they may actually you know I mean be able to pull this off, bro. They may be able to pull this off. Uh, uh, get get a couple. You know I mean, um, anti marijuana people sent home and get uh their their uh pro green candidates. You know what I mean, um, uh, uh, in 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 different senates and shit across the country. It's ridiculous that the laws are inconsistent around the country and in our national capital. It's perfectly okay to grow a couple of cannabis plants in your yard, but in Queensland you can be charged with a criminal offense for the same thing. Mr. B Hold on. So in Australia, you can grow your own dank? As long as you ain't in Queensland? Y'all niggas need to get out of Queensland, bruh. Bradley said he didn't want a free-for-all, but that current laws were a waste of resources. There are numerous examples around the world where cannabis has been legalized and sky hasn't fallen in. Cannabis was actually legal everywhere in Australia until 1957 when we decided to jump on the USA bandwagon and ban it. It's time to- So hold on. Australia had- legal weed until the 50s and then it just took you know what i mean some 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 rogue americans to go over there and say some shit and you know what i mean and they and then and then australia went anti weed yeah that was the w move australia y'all could have been on the forefront of this shit for years bro 70 80 years into this shit bro
to change these outdated laws and have a uniform approach that treats adults like adults and in some instances would be life-changing. Mr. Bradley told Daily Mail Australia he would largely act as an independent on other issues. Pauline Hansen's pictured One Nation and the United Australia Party have both failed to make an impressionable increase in votes despite Yo, she just look like she's against weed smokers. She just look like she's against everything cannabis, bro. Despite heavy campaigning, Ms. Hansen's One Nation has suffered a 2-5% swing against her in Queensland and won just 7-8% of the Senate vote so far. Ms. Hansen Oh yeah, she's probably going home, bro. Hansen is still likely to accrue preferences from the unlikely to be elected Liberal Democrats and United Australia parties. Despite campaigning heavily, splashing millions in the electoral lead-up and protesting vaccine mandates and coronavirus safety measures, Clive Palmer and Ms. Hansen's conservative fringe parties failed to make a massive mark on the election this year. One nation might only pick up a single seat in the Senate between the two most likely candidates, Ms. Hansen and Jennifer Game in South Australia. The United Australia Party could win one seat in Victoria where extended COVID-19 lockdowns hit the hardest. Even in Victoria, legalized cannabis Australia trails closely behind the UAP's Ralph Babe and ahead of One Nation. The surprising success of legalized cannabis Australia Party could be the early signs of a country embracing more progressive values when it comes to drug taking. Clive Palmer, pictured, bombed out with his party looking at picking no Senate seats despite splashing millions on marketing the legalized cannabis Australia Party and President Michael Balderstone, pictured, will receive Australian Electoral Commission funding after securing more than 4% of first preference Senate votes. Question. All right, um, so so Australia, Australia is um actually getting ready to legalize weed. Is what it looks like. What? Well, well, let me do that different. Australia is making a valid attempt to get weed legal. We still got hoops to jump through, um, which which uh they're addressing. They're addressing the people who's against it, sending them home, bro. That's that's what that's what that's how you do it. That's how you do it. If you know what I mean, you know who who's for. Who's for uh, marijuana? You get them. You get them. You get them the job. The niggas who's 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 against it. Send them niggas home, bro. That's what we need to start doing over here in America, bro. Niggas who's 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 against that shit. Send them niggas home, and then we need to do that shit on the federal level. So I'm talking about, you know, what I mean, DC, bro. We need to start getting these niggas back back to where they uh, belong.